The silverleaf whitefly, Bumisia tabasi, is one of several commonly encountered whitefly species. It has a multiple decades long international history of agricultural documentation starting around the mid 1970s, and is perhaps most famous for the myriad biotypes that have been ascribed to its designation, particularly B biotype which has been redescribed as Bamesia argentifolii, and the insecticide-resistant Q biotype. More recently, it has been proposed, with new information, that what encompasses Bamesia tabasi is actually a complex of at least 24 morphologically indistinguishable species. In such case, identification is impossible in crop visually, and muddles historical bionomic data that does not take this information into account, which would be the vast majority of it. Bamesia tabasi has several very important details associated with its pest status. For example, it is a known vector of more than 150 plant viruses in three separate genera of three separate viral families. The bigomaviruses of family Geminiviridae, the creniviruses of family Closeroviridae, and the epomaviruses of family Podiviridae. Some of the most destructive examples include tomato yellow leaf curl virus, which can be devastating to tomato crops while symptomless in other hosts, and the African cassava mosaic virus, both of which are bigomaviruses. Like most Dernorinca, they produce copious amounts of honeydew over their lifespan which is deposited on leaves and can be substrate for what are called sooty molds, especially in dense populations. Apart from causing cosmetic damage, the mold growth blocks photosynthesis if it develops on lower leaves, which is common. There are also phoretic hosts of broad mites, which sometimes seek and attach themselves to whitefly bodies, which transport them greater distances than they would otherwise travel ambulatorily. Additionally, the common name silverleaf, whitefly, comes from the special silvering damage that is associated with certain populations, like what is now known as Bamesia argentifolii, when they feed on potato and nightshade, among other host species. Argentifolii literally means silver leaves. Bearing in mind the fact that many of the biotypes of Bamesia tabasi are really separate species, but also conceding that their physiological similarity gives them similar strengths and weaknesses, the research data about biotypes A and B from the Brazilian Archives of Biology and Technology showed some similar life table information on cotton and rapeseed. Whiteflies are polyphagous and feed on over 900 documented species, many of which being important human crops. Like many frustratingly successful pests, both groups showed examples of a pretty high net reproductive rate, the number of females produced by each female, though differences in host suitability varied considerably. Doubling time, the amount it takes for a population to double, also varied, but no one combination took much longer than a week to double. Since populations of Bamesia tabasi tend to feed almost exclusively on the underside of leaves and do well in dense, humid foliage, an unnoticed population is able to grow quickly if unchecked. Bamesia tabasi and others in its complex have four nymphal instars, a pupil form, and then a final adult form. After hatching from eggs, what are referred to as crawlers will move across the plant and find a suitable place to feed, wherein it will stay in a sessile state until it eclosis as an adult. Adults often lay eggs in a ring-like pattern, and the process repeats. Different species seem to have variable success at interbreeding, but such assessments are inconclusive in their entirety. Several of the Bamesia tabasi complex are resistant to various pesticidal compounds, with a particularly infamous reputation attributed to biotype Q and its rapid adaptation but much lower fecundity. Like many highly polyphagous pests, Bamesia tabasi complex populations have been documented to be resistant to several neonicotinoids as well as insect growth regulators like piraproxifen. Many agricultural industries rely on potent insecticidal chemical agents, 
and since there is a close association between this species complex and the ornamental industry, their usage is quite common, but effective only when applied in rotation to mitigate resistance. Biological control agents are replacing many chemical agents, such as the ladybird Delphasis catalinae, the predatory mite Amblyceus swarskii, and the parasitic wasp Eretmoceris eremicus, as costs rise and extrinsic forces demote their value.